When it comes to achieving universal health coverage, timely and accurate diagnosis is key. For many countries though, health systems are fragile and access to diagnostics remains the weakest link. Only 1% of primary healthcare clinics and 14% of hospitals in low and middle income countries have even the most basic diagnostic capacity. Globally, 3 million out of 10 million TB patients are missed and 1 in 3 of HIV exposed infants do not receive a test. And the pandemic has only highlighted the global inequity of diagnostics with COVID-19 testing rates more than 10 times lower than high-income countries. So how do we fix this? By increasing investments and making the best use of limited resources to build an integrated and patient-centric network of diagnostic services, a system that has adequate testing capacity based on local context and needs to deliver accurate, accessible and timely test results at sustainable costs. But the data needed for planning diagnostics services comes in all shapes and sizes, which can be a big challenge. Diagnostic network optimization uses data analytics to combine these complex data inputs to help you see the bigger picture of your diagnostic services. Using DNO, you can identify gaps and compare solutions to improve access to services in the most cost-efficient way. Software applications simplify this by automating data analysis and building maps and charts to visually represent findings. Now let's see how DNO typically works. The first step is to define the overall scope and priority questions for the analysis. This involves ministries of health coordinating efforts of all relevant stakeholders along the whole process. The next step is to collate and prepare data to build a digital model of the current diagnostic services. With this, you'd be able to assess, for example, how much testing capacity is available, where are the testing facilities located, how well utilized is the available capacity to meet the testing demand and where the gaps lie. You can then run various scenarios to compare potential outcomes and costs of alternative solutions to address gaps in services. For example, improving utilization of available devices through better sample referral or integrated multi-disease testing or increasing testing capacity by introducing a new test or device. DNO empowers countries to get a comprehensive picture of current diagnostic systems, identify gaps and opportunities to strengthen diagnostics, compare trade-offs between access, efficiency and cost for potential interventions. This means more patients get timely and accurate tests, while health systems become more efficient at delivering services and prioritize investments that deliver greatest impact. DNO works best when integrated into strategic planning. This is easier when you have a digital model of your diagnostic services at hand that can be updated when needed.